Hey there everybody and welcome back. I wanted to do a very quick video on my love-hate relationship with Enlin PLA Plus filament. So for those of you that haven't used it before, I definitely think it's a great filament to use for the filament itself, but I do think that they have some issues in their quality control process and it may have just been two rolls that I got. I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to give this one as a quick example and I'll put a link to another video down below and I actually had someone comment on that video saying they've had similar issues. So what I'm not in love with is how disorganized this appears and you can see these tend to kind of cross over each other. Normally that wouldn't be a concern, but I'm a little bit newer to printing and I've noticed that some people even re-roll some of these filaments uh, or some of these packages, which seems like a lot of work in my opinion for something that should have been done correctly the first time around. So the love-hate relationship, I love the filament itself because it's relatively affordable and not only that, but the prints are really, really good. So this is part of an Iron Man mask that I'm working on. So you'll see we have another piece right there and a couple more pieces here. So we do have a little bit of stringing um, and I'm going to have a video that I'll be uploading in a couple of weeks with the final product of this. But you'll see that this actually prints out very, very well. Not only that, it's incredibly consistent. So you'll see we have this mask here. And I think overall, since I'm newer to the 3D printing space, I think that this came out very, very well. So I've done several very, very long prints. I actually have a video, which I'll link in the description, doing a seven plus day print with Inland. And to be honest, that's the reason why we have that love-hate relationship. So I love it because it's been very, very consistent. I tried going with Hatchbox PLA because I saw online they had some great reviews. However, after messing with some of the settings, it was very difficult to get it dialed in. And even when I was able to get the first, let's just say 15 to 20 layers to print, there still ended up uh, with issues with this like stringing from it, regardless of the temperatures I was using. So I was trying some new things, but overall it just wasn't very consistent at all. And I feel like once the first few layers come down correctly, if there are other issues through the print job, personally, I think that's more on the filament than the settings itself. But again, that's a problem for another time. So long story short, what I love about this filament, again, it's very, very consistent. I have had almost no failed prints related to the filament that I can tell. So for example, when I've done this, um, the first roll of filament, which I actually still have, I was able to print this mask here, which took quite a bit of time. I think it was about seven to eight days. I was able to print these two parts and quite a few other smaller things, and I still have quite a bit of filament left on that roll. So overall, I think it's a really, really good buy, and it seems to be very high quality and very, very consistent, which I think is probably one of the most crucial things with 3D printing. The only thing that I really don't like is, again, the inability to kind of manage quality control and get this rolled properly. Normally you may think, oh, why does it matter if it's a bit disorganized? So I'll put a link in the description to a video where I had an issue with this mask being printed. And in the middle of the print job, I started hearing a popping noise. And it was because some of these lines had actually mixed up and kind of jumbled together and created almost like a knot. And so the filament wasn't able to feed into the extruder. So the popping noise was the piece on the back trying to pull that filament in and if I hadn't been there I wouldn't have been able to correct it and I basically just unrolled some of this and then re-rolled it while the print was going which I definitely would not recommend but it was easier than pausing the print job and trying to fix it so things like that are not something you want to have because most people although it's recommended that you watch your 3d prints most people will leave them while they're doing other things. And if you're not around when issues occur, then it can cause a very, very long job to fail and waste a lot of filament. So overall, again, I think that the filament's great. And if it's something you can re-roll, or maybe if what you're buying has better quality control and you don't experience this issue, I actually bought this one on Amazon and just opened it up. So you can see it's a brand new roll, hasn't been uh, unclipped or anything, but this is kind of how it came in, which makes me think I'm probably going to have to heavily monitor a lot of my future prints, at least with this roll. But again, that is what it is. Um, kind of looking at the Hatchbox filament, this isn't going to be a great comparison, 
because I've already used a large portion of it, but it just seemed like out of the box, it was much more organized. Uh, so again, that's personal opinion, but I hope this video was helpful. And just to give you a really quick example with that hatchbox print, and part of the reason that I'm moving to the inland from now on is you can see this is one of the supports I was printing previously. I'll focus in here and you can see that stringing, but you may think that this was failed from the beginning, but the print that this was actually on, I would say about this much of the original few layers actually came out almost perfectly. So it's a little bit confusing as to why all of a sudden it started failing midway through the job. But again, that's a problem for another time. So I hope overall that this video was helpful. If you have any questions or maybe if you have any thoughts, I would love to know what your favorite filament is and why, what settings you use. So drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.